Hi and welcome to our channel. I'm Donnie and this is Linda and this is our dog Roxy. We want to invite you to follow our adventures as we build out our van and travel the country on our social media channels and website vacay247365. Hey, we just wanted to give a quick intro. Um, we tried to shoot the tour of our van the other day, but the morning we were gonna shoot it, cold front came in, it was super windy. Uh, we got through the intro, filmed the entire thing, went to go edit it, and 90% of the time all you could hear was the wind blowing. So um, I am going to reshoot today, since it's nice and pretty and not too windy out there, um, a tour of the van and so if you see us in one set of clothes and part of it and different set of clothes in the other or me in this that's the reason why but anyway um, our van is a 2019 Ram Promaster 159 extended high roof um, try to give you some of the details about it it's a 2019, but we bought it brand new from a dealership with only 15 miles on it in July of 2020. It was one they had on their lot due to COVID, but one of their fleet uh, customers had a bunch of them on order and couldn't take delivery on them. And so they basically sat on their lot. And so we were able to pick that up and, uh, you know, didn't get a great deal because everybody's buying vans these days, but it does have a bumper to bumper, five years, 75,000 um, factory warranty extended on it. And so uh, let's get inside and see some of the details. I think you're gonna like what you see. Hey, all you van lifers out there, I'm Donnie. And I'm Linda. And Roxy's inside because we're gonna do a tour of our van and she would try to run off. So anyway, um, hope y'all enjoy our tour. All right, before we go inside, I think some of the things we wanna kinda of go over on the outside first. Um, we have a full length end-to-end -end roof rack. This roof rack is made out of 8020 Schedule 10 aluminum. Actually, the long rails are Schedule 15, which is the bigger stuff. The cross rails are Schedule 10, or Grade 10, some people call it. Um, on the roof, there are two new power 175 watt solar panels. So we got 350 watts total. There's also a Fresair AC unit in the back, and we have a uh, Dometic vent fan in the front. Um, I'll kind of show you this. So we have CR Lawrence full window here this has the louver style where it kicks up here this is another CR Lawrence with the louver style that kicks up in the very back um, we also put the slick lock system which I have done a video about it's called slick locks not lick locks um, also did videos on the roof rack we use the mounts from DIY vans which just clip onto the native mount so there's no holes drilled in the roof anywhere except for Obviously, where the fan and the AC are, but one hole coming in where the solar cables come in. But there's nothing screwed in for mounting the roof rack. It is super, super sturdy. Also, put the slick lock system on the back, which you see right there. So, this is a spin lock system. Your key goes in there, pull this off, and these brackets are mounted on the inside. So, there's no way anybody can break in. Oh, I'm not going to say no way. They would do more damage to the door trying to get past this. And if they broke in through a window, they can't get out from the inside. So um, you'd have them kind of trapped. Over on this side, we have the CR Lawrence, but it's a, the slider over the headboard into the bed. Uh, there's the little pigtail hanging out for our Wabasto heater. This van has heated. I don't know if you can see that little symbol right there. Heated and folded mirror, mirrors. Um, really, really like the... Dodge Ram. Super sleek, clean, nice high roof. It was a fun build, very straight wall, so you don't have a lot of angles to jack with. Um, but anyway, so let's go inside and uh, show you what the inside looks like. That's the part that's going to be exciting. All right, we're going to start here at the door and just kind of give you the tour. So on the back of the sink and cabinet area, 
we have a nice little handle to grab to lift up into um put this faux panel on the back with some little nice knobs you can just unscrew you open that up that gives you full access to all the plumbing so if you ever did have a fixture that vibrated loose or anything uh, it's very easy to get in and work in um, you're not having to try to crawl underneath the sink this also has a two-stage water filter so what we recommend using is an inline filter on your hose when it goes in so that gets it's usually a big carbon filter gets rid of you know 90 percent of all the big stuff um, depending on where you're filling up and then from there we have a two-stage water filter because our sink faucet that also doubles as an outdoor shower you can bring it out this way and hose people off out here um but it has another faucet right here for filtered water so that allows you when you're doing your drinking water it's triple filtered your regular water would just be regular single filtered for just washing dishes and using the shower etc um we have dual swivel seats by euro campers and you just basically pull this lever and you can see they rotate i got that one turned about halfway did 110 plugs with USB ports also included because you can never have enough USB ports. Two USB ports there. Here we have our water pump. Here we have our gray water dump. This is our, you probably can't hear it, but that's for our uh, fuel, that's for the drain pump. And then this is for our Fres Air AC to fill it. Let me turn on some lights in here. But on. And you'll see there's also a separate light for in the shower, which we'll get to in a second. So up here we have a faux panel for if you ever wanted to run something else. Figure it's easy to cut it in now and have the hole. Um, this is your shower switch, your regular overhead light switch, carbon monoxide detector, because we do have a gas heater. And the gas heater we have porting right back down there. You can see there's the port for it. Um, here we have, that's the Wabasto heater. Here we have the Victron Energy. We have a, the 3000, actually I'm gonna turn that down to 15. Um, the 3000 inverter charger controller. Um, this is nice so you don't have to go in the back to turn it on. You leave that in the back on all the time. Flip this on and off as you wanna use 110 power. And then up here, you will see the solar battery bank which is at 46% because I was out here cleaning and had a lot of stuff running yesterday, was using the 110 and uh, so the batteries got down to 46% and so, but they'll charge back up usually within about three hours of sitting out in the sun out here in the driveway. This also has the um, inverter. Sorry about that. I had to restart the video as uh, when I hit the well, Bosto heater actually turned it on and in the background I hear it going tick 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 you can hear the pump priming so uh, it was getting kind of annoying so I had to shut that off we don't want to have the heater blowing while we're trying to talk um, above here we have mule bags by Adventure Wagon these things are awesome let me show you this try to do this with one hand they fold up uh, I'm not good at one handed stuff apparently uh, and they got magnets up here that hold them open very big and roomy you can see they go all the way through they're ultra quiet they don't make any noise they also have these neat little bins underneath where i put stuff like this is probably gonna be toothpaste vitamins all kinds of stuff linda's little mirror to look pretty um so anyway these are really cool up above we have our vent fan tons of storage up here we have our window coverings up here that are by Bandmade Gear. We actually had window coverings made for the side window, both of the driver and passenger door windows, the front windshield, both of the little windows in the back over the bed and for the back doors. And you'll look there at the back doors. The nice things are that they are fully magnetic, lined, insulated, I think they were like 1100 bucks for the entire set so it is the highest quality you can get oh and this one right here just connects you can see it's magnetic it just kind of clicks up there um and when we get to the back i'll show you how the magnets work all right here we have the dometic fridge freezer you can see it's still got ice in here <laughs> from our last trip 
And then this is the fridge side. It's still got groceries and beer because we just got back the other day. Um, and here we have our under the kitchen sink with storage. Down here we have our microwave and some bins with food. Down here we store our induction cooktop, which is awesome. Gets almost instantly hot and an induction cook pot. We have a memory foam five inch thick mattress. All the upper cabinets here are done with child locks. So you basically, I can't do it one hand, but you put it there and listen, Hear that little click. That lets you know that it's unlocked and then you can open the cabinets. We use these for storing paper plates, bowls, food, and then I have a cabinet and Linda has a cabinet. Um, we'll go to the shower. This here is just a shower hook made out of galvanized pipe. I put a, another one of the child lock magnets on top. Usually we'll hang our towels on here and that way they can hang and dry. Um, here's the shower. It's got a nice shower head. And my neighbor's cat just came into our van. Look at that, get out of here. All right, in the shower we have, obviously a shower. All the shower walls were lined with, they're made with uh, steel studs, used a water, you know, resistant foam backer board, whatever you want to call it, lined with FRP and sealed with tape, with fl the flashing tape. Then on top of the FRP, which a lot of people use as their shower walls, we did the Duma wall, which looks like tile, but it's 100% waterproof. And then it's silicon beaded in between everything with the Duma wall trim pieces all around the edges. Um, the shower has a clickable, you can step on it and it pops up to drain, or you can click it off to seal it. Has a separate urine diverting toilet this van is set up for number one only. There is a way to go number two. It's basically just a bin with some cat litter and a cat liner um, in there. So if you actually had to go number two, you could and you can just bag it up, throw it away. Um, but we really just try to just do number one in the van. But that's just personal preference. Um, this van does have radiant floor heating. Uh, that's on the back. I'll have to show you whenever we go around. Uh, you might be able to see it right here. This is the control for the radiant floor heating. That is so that when you're laying in bed, if you forget to set the, it has a seven day um, timer you can set or schedule. So if you know you're gonna be skiing every day and you're gonna be getting up at 6 a.m., you can have it kick on at 5.30 and your floors are you know 90 degrees by the time you wake up. Super, super effective. Uses not a lot of energy. It is 110, so you have to have your inverter on but it only typically you run it for about an hour or so and then shut it off and uh and it is nice to wake up and put your toes on a toasty floor i can tell you that right now um like i said five inch thick uh, memory foam mattress has the fres air ac unit which is awesome there in the back i did a video on it there are your gauges so our fresh water gauge on the left gray water gauge on the right so that from almost anywhere you are in the van you can look back and you can see how your water levels are here in the kitchen we have our faucet that we showed you earlier super deep sink look at that man it comes up halfway i think it's a uh, 10 inches deep if i'm not mistaken all our power controls have a beautiful backsplash has a nice hexagon wood pattern we did handles that are hexagon to match I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, did a nice blue, got shiplap on the kicker plate there, shiplap on the walls, shiplap on the ceiling all the way down. The entire van is insulated with Havelock wool. And trust me, Linda stuffed every little corner of this place. So uh, let's go to the back and you can see what all, where all the fun stuff is, I, I call it, uh, back in the garage. That's kind of the guy's area. All right, here we are in the back. I'll show you all the good stuff. This is where the boys play, and girls too. So, back here, we have all the electrical. We have three, I kind of cover that up so you can see, but there's three Lion 1300 batteries. I put this little cover on there. A lot of people put 
towels on top of their batteries. Don't want to do that because if you ever had a water leak or somebody spilt a coke in bed the towel would get wet and get short across your battery so you always want to use something plastic that's why they put them in plastic bins and i put these little stretch cover over it so it's really easy to get to um the lions have a little button you can push it turns on that shows you how much battery you have if for some reason your sensors weren't working or you're in the back and you want to check and don't want to have to go up front anyway we have a 110 power here light that turns on here and one over there there's our hot water heater that plugs into that plug right there whenever we use it, and we hardly ever use it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off just so it's not shining in our... Victron 3000 charge controller, every single power, battery isolator, the main power coming in to 12 volt. Everything has its own switch. I have done videos about electricity. There's your... 120 panel put these neat little stretch panels which are nice for storing stuff in under here we have our well that's our water fill that's an emergency drain we have a 30 gallon fresh water tank and then we have our five gallon gray water tank and a i believe it's a two and a half or three and a half gallon tank that comes with the fres air ac unit that's why i don't know how much it is because i didn't order that separately but so there's a lot of water you got a gray water tank everything is on ball valves so all you have to do is flip a switch to fill the ac unit you only have to flip a switch to drain your gray water tank i do have shut off valves and i did do a video called switching from id to pex the entire van is in pex tubing um except for little short runs where like to your pumps where you have to use plastic id tubing but everything is on pex with shut off valves everywhere so um anyway it's really convenient this also has a bike port mount so you can put mountain bikes in this way and here are the van covers you can see these now these we just store these up here these little ones up at the top those are for the side window so when you're laying in bed they're easy to grab but let me just show you i got this strap down so it's easy to see these windows are not in that is correct we bought them they are still in the box my wife decided she wanted more privacy in the back before we put them in. And then we just never put them in. <laughs> we ordered these. I said we could have used these for privacy. But anyway, long story short, if somebody wants to put them in, they come with the van. You have two brand new windows you can cut in or you can just not put them in. These do act good for insulation, but let's check this out. You can hear the magnets just clicking right in. Those things are awesome. Now, on our other van, we did put windows in. That's the ski mobile. That one's set up purely for skiing. Um, gonna be doing a van build series on that one. It's all wheel drive, has ski racks in the back. So it's kind of a, the guy's mobile one. But anyway, that, that's another whole project and series. All right, so this van has been called Pamela Vanderson because it's very, I'm not going to say girly, but it's very like my wife and other ladies would like it to look like a real home. And she is pretty. Oh, I can say this back wall. That light switch right there actually goes to a wire. I know people are going to go, what does that go to? It's to an extra wire that's actually wired to the 12 volt system. So if you wanted to put like a, I don't know, fog light on top or some LED lights or run something else, the switch is already in there and the cables run to the back. Then all you got to do is just put your device on there. But anyway, she's beautiful. She's only got about, well, we're getting ready to take it to Texas to go visit some family and stuff um, because the other van's not quite done. Um, so it'll have about 5,000 miles on it when we go to sell it. So if you are interested in our van, reach out and let me know. Everybody have a great day. Be safe out there in these crazy times. And uh, we'll keep you updated on our next project. Take care.